guys, what's up? Uh, I am in the drive-thru at McDonald's, <laughs> uh, which is not the best place to be. Um, but, let me turn the air down a little bit. So, in case you didn't hear anything I just said, I'll repeat it. I'm in the drive-thru at McDonald's and I'm starting another 30 day challenge today. Well, I just did my body composition. So I weighed in and they took pictures. Um, and so I did that today and then I'll weigh in again, I think on Tuesday. Yeah. So I'm doing my last hoorah, getting me Coke and a not healthy meal at McDonald's so yeah but I am starting another 30 day challenge so I did gain a few pounds uh, back from the last 30, 30 day challenge because after it was over I just kind of ate whatever and when you go to church and church dinners happen it's just difficult you know so um, and after the challenge was over, I was just like, okay, I'm just going to kind of eat what I want. But I haven't ate completely terrible either. Like, I've still ate some vegetables um, and and tried to watch it somewhat, but I've not nearly stuck to it or drank water um, in any way like I should have. So, this time around, um, I want to try to drink water better on the 30-day challenge. I did do well on the last one. I lost 9 pounds total and 10% body fat so I'm hoping that I have even better results this time uh, my plan is to try to plan ahead better and kind of meal prep and instead of running through a drive through like after church especially like on Wednesdays um, hopefully I can either have supper cooked before since I'm not working um, like I was during the last challenge um, Maybe I can try to meal prep and plan a little bit better. So I'm fixing to go to Walmart and get all the things that I need to get to um, be set for the first week or whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I'm planning on getting a vlog up this week. Hopefully I can get the concert vlog from the Big Time Rush concert up. Um, maybe buy some miracle I can get it up today, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get my food, and I'll talk to you guys later. Hi guys. So it's 30 day challenge day. Um, the start of it for me, anyways. Um, yesterday, last night, I didn't really start um, eating better because I'd already ate like junk, you know, because I had the McDonald's, and then I was finishing up the dessert that I made for my birthday because my birthday was Monday, so I had a little bit of dessert left over from that. So I ate that, and then I ate uh, pizza last night. I was gonna make my cauliflower crust pizza. Um, I'll show it to you guys. It's plan approved on this plan. I've not tried it yet. Um, it's the keto cauliflower foods uh, pizza crust, original Italian season seasoning. I don't know. Um, so I haven't tried that yet, but I'm excited to try them out and see. I did have a Call of Power uh, pizza. I think that's the brand name. It was just in like the frozen pizza section. I did try one of those. I wasn't a huge fan of it, but maybe like fixing my own with the cauliflower crust will be better. Um, but also, uh, if I don't like those for the pizza, I can also use... Um, the Siete Almond Flour Tortillas, they are, well, I don't know if they're technically plan approved, but I ate them on the plan last time, uh, so I think they might be on the moderate list, like you can have it in moderation, but, um, not something that you want to have every day, so, um, I'm going to I like the almond flour ones. They're okay. They're not like my favorite, but it's a better option than like whole wheat, like mission tortillas or whatever. So I'm going to um, do that, try those out, 
I don't know if I'll repurchase the almond flour tortillas. Sorry, that lighting was terrible. <laughs> I don't know if I'll repurchase the almond flour tortillas just because um, it's a little pricey and they're not my favorite. So, um, and then I do have like the Ezekiel bread um, and I think it might be on the moderate list or it may be on the revitalization plan and I'm on the restoration plan. Wow, I'm super blue right now. I don't know if I'm a fan of this look or not. <laughs> if I go up here, is it better? Okay, it's definitely better up here. That dining room light drives me insane. Okay, so anywho, I'm rambling. Um, what I was gonna say uh, was that for breakfast, I just ate a Granny Smith apple. I did fix um, a couple of eggs and cooked them with cooked some peppers and then threw the eggs in and some cheese but I wasn't really a fan of it um it probably would have been better if I had the turkey sausage ready but it wasn't defrosted yet I didn't like the scrambled eggs necessarily I do look blue still here that's weird and the blue shirt's just making it so great okay uh so I didn't like the eggs that much this morning but I have to be in the mood for eggs Okay, I can't eat eggs every single morning. Or there might be a week where, like, I can eat eggs for breakfast every morning. And then, like, I don't want eggs again for, like, two months or something. Uh, but breakfast for supper sounds really, really good. But when I say breakfast for supper, um, that means biscuits and gravy and sausage and um, scrambled eggs and fried potatoes and all, all that. I can't have that on the plan. So... <laughs> Um, I probably won't have that, but maybe some nights I'll just fix like the scrambled eggs with cheese and the turkey sausage, um, for supper. But yeah, today so far I've drank one bottle of water. Well, it wasn't completely full, um, cause it was leftover from like yesterday. So I was finishing it up and so I drank that and ate an apple and, um, I think for lunch I may have like a can of tuna because I'm going over to my mother-in-law's tonight. She's watching Paisley. So I am going to go over there. She's making chicken casserole, which is not on the plan, but I'm not going to not eat what she cooks. I'm just going to watch how much of it I eat and try not to eat like a bunch. I'm hoping I can like share my meals with you guys. I don't know if you're interested in it at all, but... Um, I'm going to try my best because uh, I want to look back on this in case I decide to do it again and want the, um, you know, want to try it out for me to get results. I mean, I got results when I did the first time, but I really want to try to stick to um, drinking the water um, because I did cheat a little bit last time. So that's what's going on. Um, I'm going to just try to be productive today around the house to get some dishes done do the laundry kind of straighten up a little bit um i gotta check on a little bit and then i'm gonna let you guys go it's super dark right now hey hey what's the matter what's the matter you stretching you sleepy huh I know you're so pretty. Yeah, <laughs> she's five months old now, which is insane. That's insane. Yeah, yeah, it is. So I'm gonna let you guys go. I would show you the nursery, but it's crazy in here. Uh, I've got to get some boxes and go through clothes because she's growing so fast. We gotta go through clothes. Yeah. So. <laughs> I just, you know, went into the mom voice. You're welcome. Um, but here's a little sneak peek. This part doesn't look crazy. There's monkeys up there and little animals there. So maybe I can do like a little nursery tour and show you Paisley's bedroom when it's all over. You're so cute. Yes, you are. You're so cute. I love you so much. So that's what's going on. I'm going to go now because... I need to get busy on doing things. So I gotta get busy doing things. What is up, guys? We are having a picnic in the yard today. It is Monday. 
and we decided to have lunch outside. So there's Paisley and Gabrielle. Paisley's having popcorn chicken, mac and cheese, and Cheetos. I don't know that she'll eat it all, but that's what I fixed her. Um, Gabrielle is holding her formula dispenser, but I haven't fixed her bottle yet. So I'm not sure if she wants it just yet. She's not getting fussy, so um, I brought her bottle out here though with water already fixed in it for her. So she's ready to go. I brought baby food out here for her. Sweet potatoes, uh, baby food. And then I'm snacking on some homemade pickles <laughs> and, and I'm on these. some almonds. I'm snacking on these. So that's what we're doing. Um, I ate breakfast late, kind of late this morning. It was like 10 something I'm when I got done I'm eating. So yummy. They're yummy, aren't they? Oh, we forgot to pray. You want to bless the food? Mm -hmm. I got to eat. Well, don't eat it and then bless the food. Bless the food. Do you get this from us? No, so bad. Thank you for this food. Thank you for this food. No, so bad. Amen. Amen. Good job. So, uh, Malho is over there. I don't know if you can see him. Where's he at? Over. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Over there. Over there. <laughs> uh, by the tree. Um, he can't be near our food while we eat, or that's kind of the rule I made because I'm pretty sure he would like eat Paisley's food up. So, yeah, I put him over there. That way he's outside with us while we get to eat in the yard and have a little picnic. Um, we got my so, butterfly yeah, blanket. Yeah, we do have your butterfly blanket. So, we're just eating in the yard, having a good time. Um, I did, uh, like I said, I ate breakfast kind of late this morning um and i had a chaffle i don't know if you guys know what that is but chaffles is a um keto recipe the diet or plan challenge thing that i'm on it's not keto it's low glycemic so um it's a low glycemic um challenge diet whatever i ate, I ate my mac and cheese good job and now i'm gonna eat, uh, after that Oh, okay, good. Well, Sissy might be getting hungry. Um, but, yeah, so it's just cheese and an egg and then, like, whatever kind of chaffle you're making. Like, I've been having, like, a like a chocolate chip chaffle, which is um, um, not 100% plant approved, but... I got keto's. Yeah, but I'm having that. So, um... I ate that for breakfast and I did have my iced coffee and it was really good this morning, but I need to limit my amount of creamer that I'm adding to it. That is also not plan approved. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I have for breakfast. My iced coffee, like I said, was not like plan approved because technically I think I'm supposed to be having like half and half and honey for like the sweeteners and stuff for coffee. But I think I'm gonna try heavy whipping cream because that's a better option than like the creamer that I use. So I'm gonna try that. And then I'm going to just have coffee maybe one time a day, which is normally when I drink coffee, I just drink it once a day. I don't, like I'm not one of those that has multiple cups of coffee in a day. I've just never really done that. But I do like it to have like some of some caffeine. Um, I don't know. Uh, so I'm not sticking to this 30 day challenge religiously. <laughs> So that's what we're doing. That's what I have for breakfast. This is my snack. And then later I'm probably gonna have the rest of my Mexican that I got yesterday, which was really good. I'll try to remember to show you guys. Uh, and that'll be my supper because I'm really not that hungry right now. So, yeah. But I will let you guys go. I'm gonna feed this baby that's getting a little fussy. And we're just gonna have a nice little lunch together. I don't know what she's doing. Oh, you're cleaning it up? Good job. She made a mess with the mac and cheese, so now she's cleaning it up. Sorry, I've got mac and cheese on my hand, so my angle's not too well. All right, I'm gonna feed you, sissy. All right, we'll see you guys. Okay, I hope you can see me. Um, we've got a grocery haul happening. I just went to Walmart, spent too much money, but I thought I'd share it with you guys since I'm talking about like what I'm eating and all that kind of stuff. First, let me get the things that are not mine out of the way. These are almonds that I bought last time. They're just the great value brand to snack on. 
Um, there's that. Um, I did get two jugs of water. That's for the baby's bottles. So we have that. Um, I got chocolate syrup for Paisley's chocolate milk. We got that. Uh, I got yogurt. Uh, that's for Paisley to snack on. I got the Go Go Squeeze applesauce. Those are for Paisley as well. Uh oh. Uh oh. We got some dish soap that's open. Oh my gosh. That's like the worst thing ever. <laughs> that's, that's terrible. Okay. All right, well, that's unfortunate. The cap broke on my Dawn dishwashing liquid, so everything that was in the bag with it, and, so, and it got on the table some too, uh, is probably doused in Dawn dishwashing liquid. That's fantastic. Okay, I got some off uh, bug spray because I didn't know if we had any or not, and I don't like mosquito bites, so there's that. There's probably a better option out there for like bug spray, I'm sure, like. I know like citronella plants, you can use those. And I have two lemon citronella plants in my flower pots, but you know, when you're in a pinch and you're out somewhere, you don't have a citronella plant on you. So I got me some off. I gotta rinse this off. I got that off. Um, I got that off of the off. Okay, yeah, off, I got that. Let me try to clean this up a little bit. Sort of, kind of, maybe. I don't know. Sorry that this is all over the place now because of the whole Dawn dishwashing liquid situation. Um, I have to get that up. Well, no, this is clean. Okay, so I got off, and then we needed um, wasp and hornet killer because we are having wasp, and nobody likes that. Uh, then I got. Um, Watering cans. Uh, this one's mine. I wanted a pretty one, but you know, this this will work because I've been looking for watering cans for a month and I always forget about it. And so I finally was just like, whatever. So I got this one. The one that I have has holes in it, like from like rust and stuff. It's one of those like stainless steel, aluminum, whatever ones. So I got that one for me, and then I got a little one for Paisley. So she can help me water the flowers. Um, then I got heavy whipping cream for my coffee to use as a creamer instead of using like um, my International Delight Caramel Macchiato creamer because I've heard uh, my friend April was telling me that heavy whipping cream is healthier to use. It's a healthier option than using regular creamer. So not technically on the plan that I'm on, but it is a better option. So. I got eggs because they are definitely on the plan that I'm on. I've been making a lot of chaffles, which I think I explained to you guys what chaffles are. Just an egg and cheese. And you can like put different seasonings on it and just cook it in your little waffle maker or pancake. Well, I use, yeah, waffle maker. Duh, because it's called a chaffle. Um, so I got eggs for that, and I, you know, eggs for eggs. And I also got eggs because I want to make protein pancakes. Protein powder is on the plan. This kind of hurt my heart to buy this, but when you think about how many meals you'll get out of it, it's really not too bad. Uh, but buying it from first glance, it's not very fun. Is my kitchen a mess over there? It kind of is. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, didn't mean for that to happen, but whatever. This is real life. Okay. Um, so yeah, I got that. Uh, it's the Isopure, I guess. I don't know. Protein powder. It was like $19 for this, and it's a pound of protein. Um, then I got some of the Laughing Cow Creamy Original Cheese Slices to snack on. I hope you can see it. Yeah. I got that. I don't know if it was in focus. I can't tell. I'm blind. I did go to the eye doctor today. My corneas look good. If you were wondering, I don't know if you are, but just thought I'd say my corneas look good. So thank God for that. Um, and then I got some fresh mozzarella cheese that's sliced. I paid 
a lot of money for this, so I'm gonna make sure I use it and it does not go bad. I just don't know how quickly I need to use it. Well, it says August 27th, so truly to goodness, I will use all that. Especially with the chaffles and stuff and pizza. Yeah, I think I'll be good. But yeah, that's all I got. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I got at the grocery store. And now I'm gonna put it away and then I'm gonna make some tea and maybe put the dishes away and then I'm probably gonna go hang out at my mom and dad's and oh, I need to throw uh, some laundry in. So I'll do that and then I'll go over to mom and dad's and swim for a bit with the girls. And then we have teen night at church tonight um, so we just kind of hang out for an hour and a half with the teenagers and we play games and we have a good time. So we'll do that at six o'clock tonight. So I will see you guys in the next clip or this could be the end of the vlog. I really don't know what kind of footage. I really don't know what kind of footage I've got and I've got quite a bit of lengthy clips. So we'll see what happens, but I love you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace out. Okay, I think it's gonna work. I'm having to like hunch down all weird, but you know it's fine. So I got a package in the mail yesterday and I think I know what it is. I wanted to share it with you guys. Peep the uh, Reese's bunny back there. We need to get that eight. I don't need to eat it, but Paisley can. Okay, I'm hoping they got the order right. <gasps> It is my merch from the merch store. Okay, this was the free poster that I got, um, but it's bent all to pieces and like broken there. And I don't necessarily think that's from me. So that's unfortunate. Anyways, um, uh, and then I got- What's her name? That's Carrie Underwood. Oh, I love Kitty Underwood. You do? <laughs> okay. Um, Look, her photo. Yes, okay. And then it's I got. Kind of yes, baby. Okay, and then I got. Look out. Look out, Paisley. I got the Cry Pretty Tour shirt. Kitty uh, Underwood again. Mm hmm. And then it has the um, cities on the back. It just says Carrie Underwood Cry Pretty Tour 360. So it's super soft. I'm excited about it. Nashville's on there and somewhere. And this is sparkly. Yep, Nashville's at the top of that one side. Um, and then I got the Southbound tank top, tank top, which I've been wanting forever. Um, I can't wait to see what on it. You can't. Some sparkly stuff. I don't think it's sparkly stuff. But this is the southbound tank top. It's super cute. It reminds me of the Lion King just because of like the beginning of the Lion King mm -hmm. movie. I see it. Um, it's, it's got a, it's got That's a sunset. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and and this is kinda like a half moon. Kind of, well, so yeah, sort of. And then this is supposed to be like water, or that's what I take from it. Um, so there's the southbound tank top. Super cute. I wish her merch team um, would do more like lyric type stuff or like <gasps> even song names like that's a There's song a name thing. and it's super cute uh, because thing. sometimes I don't always want a person on my shirt like their face you know uh, like concert tees are a little bit different I, just, I wish there was cuter options sometimes for merch but the South Bound Tank top is super cute and I wish they would like do that with more stuff okay so I'm gonna stop vlogging you know, doing this unboxing, but that's what I got. Um, and I want to show you. <laughs> this is not the most comfortable way to video. <laughs> I need to get a tripod or something if I'm going to do this more often. <laughs> you really got to quit that.